Now just because we're going to put that push button in on the top of the sink doesn't mean I don't need to keep checking this electrical outlet out underneath the sink here. And I wanted to make sure, see this is a surface mounted electrical metal box right here. And I wanted to make sure it didn't go over an existing box in the wall with the back of this metal box cut out and screwed over because I wasn't quite sure. I wanted to double check and make sure I realized how the power worked on here. So sure enough, I moved that over like that. You can see there is a back to the metal box. I've got the power off by the way now. I did check this, made sure everything was done properly and that all the power's off. Now there's two wires there, you see that? There's a wire coming up from the bottom and there's another wire going out the top. That wire going out the top goes up to the light switch, which is, the light switch is actually a garbage disposal switch now, right? It's not a light switch for a light. It's right there, it's for garbage disposal. Okay. And so I looked at that and it was real funny at first because usually what they do when they do a garbage disposal, usually they'll break a tab, not, not on the, on the, uh, the neutral side, the side with a long slot on it is the neutral side, which is a white wire. Black wires get hooked up on the other side. There's a little gold tab on the side here. Do you see it? There's a little gold tab there and there's a gold tab on this side. Now the one on the right, there should not be a gold tab. That should be have been broken off so that so that the light the the wall switch or the garbage disposal would control either the top or the bottom. And you figure that out when you hook it up, when you install it, whoever installs it. That way one of these plugs, one of these outlets controls the garbage disposal, and then you still have power at the bottom. Let's say this is for the garbage disposal, okay, which it was. There was nothing plugged in here. There should always be power on here when you turn the switch off because generally that bottom one is for the dishwasher. But the dishwasher is not plugged into that, is it? And that bottom outlet wire looks like it goes down towards the dishwasher because see, here's the drain for the dishwasher. It goes up to the garbage disposal. Okay. And then here's the copper wire. In the old days, they used copper wire. They didn't use the flex. That goes up over here, connects into the water line. Okay, there's a gate valve down below. And there's no power to the dishwasher. Where is the power to the dishwasher? Well, in the old days, I'm calling anywhere 25 to 30 years ago, the old days, okay, they generally have the garb the uh, dishwasher hardwired into an outlet uh, junction box behind the dishwasher they hardwire it back there and that's why you don't see a plug or an outlet connected a plug connected into an outlet here okay well my guess is without even pulling out the dishwasher my guess is where that junction box is they then ran this other cable on up to this outlet and that's the power that comes in okay so I know I've got power to this box and I double checked that and see at first I was questioning that because the tab was still there and I'm like wait a minute what's going on here I turned the power back on I turned the light switch for the garbage disposal on and son of a gun both of these were on I turned the switch off and both of these were off. So I know whoever hooked this up initially, they were only using this entire um, duplex outlet just to power up one of these. Or actually, if the garbage disposal, pigtail, and here's the pigtail, I'm calling the end that goes up to the garbage disposal. I plug that in either to the bottom or the top. It works on either one and it's not supposed to do that. So I knew, I just wanted to confirm how they were doing that because I know even though this 
duplex outlet was wired improperly years ago, I know I've got power coming in and I know I got the power going out goes up to that switch. We're going to do away with that switch, you know, so when the installers come, we can just cut that wire off and it will be dead in the wall, right? So then when this switch comes out, they don't even have to do anything there. They can put their granite right over that, knowing that there's no power in a junction box uh, buried into the wall. And to verify that, I did pull that apart and I see that there's only one set of wires in there. Now, if there were two sets of wires, then I would know that there was power there because that's how I usually hook things up is I'll take power to the switch first then down up to a light fixture or down to a garbage disposal but in the old days they didn't do that they ran the power down to an outlet such as this or that's a ceiling fixture let's say and then they ran it to the switch location. They're using the white wire as a hot wire, black and black. They use the white as a black. And there's a red wire in there too. And incidentally, they that's what they had and they use that as a ground wire. Okay, because I looked in the box here and sure enough, there was, what was there? What did I find up there? Okay, let me get this resituated like that. I saw there's the red wire here and it looped de looped and it went right over on the metal um, tab there when you screw this down that gave them their ground so they thought 